You guys have been going absolutely ham on my Twitter over the past few days. So today I've got a video to watch for all of you guys. Now we've covered VRA many times on this channel and you guys know the issue of ad fraud that VRA is set out to solve. Now it seems that like we've got a very interesting take from the CEO of NASDAQ. So we're about to find out if they're making direct reference to VRA or if it's more of an indirect. But before we do, guys, I've got a goal of 10K subs before the bull run. You guys are absolutely killing it. The Lex Money family, we're nearly 4,000 deep right now. So big hug to all my family and shout out to all of you guys because I see you in the comments. Thank you guys so much for your support. You keep me going. Let's get into the video. 25%, I mean, I'm sorry, between 20 and 25% of our business today. And then we have our solutions businesses, which is all the data and the analytics, the software solutions. And that's how, actually between 70 and 75% of our business today. And uh, Kristalina Georgieva of the IMF has said that one of her big concerns is financial stability, that she is very concerned that people are not moving quickly enough to adapt the financial system to just how Facts. quickly some of these systematic learning programs can actually work. What are you doing about that? Is that sort of entering into any of your calculus? We have some blunt instruments today that protect the markets, like our circuit breakers. We have single stock circuit breakers, market circuit breakers. But what you really want to do is prevent that type of deep fake from, from filtering into investment decisions. And I think that we don't have a, honestly, we're still working on what is the answer to that. There's a regulatory framework, but it's really more of a technical question of how do you um, validate uh, the videos? Like you could actually use blockchain technology to do that, by the way. So how do you create almost like a, a validation mechanism and i do actually think media has a big role to play in that it was a very big all right guys so you heard it there first now i got a thread of people saying vra vra this is so bullish for vra and then turn side we got so many people saying this is nothing to do with vra the ceo of nasdaq is very very spot on you can use blockchain technology and to get more specific v reviews guys that is exactly what they have the patent for is to eradicate ad fraud and I said to you guys, there's going to be a lot of noise over the coming months for VRA and for a lot of cryptos as well. And I just want to take a little backtrack to a week ago, because about a week ago, even two weeks ago, people were saying about VRA is a shit coin. It's going to app. It's going to zero. It's a scam coin. Get your money out now. It's going to dump. I prepared you in this channel. I prepared you three different levels and we're in the base level right now and this is where the money is made but this is also where people start to leave the market because they've got a higher average price when things like this do start to get implemented these news events can cause fat pumps in the market now i'm not gonna lie it didn't make me laugh because this literally i got added in this like two days after my last vra video saying watch this before you sell and a lot of people in that video were saying no 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 no, i'm gonna sell but you got look you got mixed opinions she did not mention it anywhere in the video she describes vra it has been mentioned protected by blockchain no company has been named what is meant by you and then look read between the lines idiot <laughs> so you know some people were saying you're still really like trying to find anything that you can but you have to remember vra has the patent for the very reviews technology that can solve this issue and they can actually distinct what is a real view from a fake view and that is what they are describing in this video guys now it's just so funny because just the massive change in momentum <laughs> over the past few days vra awaken big fat green god candle oh my goodness and i bet you someone bought that and i bet they got dumped on because look you shouldn't be looking at the 60 minute chart unless you're trading but if, if you're not trading and you're you're trying to invest don't let all of these bars affect you 24 different bars in a day and you're going to let it decide your overall plan for your for your bag you know it, it literally does not make any sense so be careful with this but yeah people are starting to get a bit horny for vra and was it that was it just a bit of a snowball effect but vra is up 83 percent in volume and it gave them a big fat god candle but still you know look at the price still super cheap discounts and it's about 20% up from where I think we first started getting it. It was, uh, it was at 4.5 4 when we first started getting it. 
on the channel and now we're at 5.2 so it's not really that much we shouldn't really be crying over you know 0.7 of a cent so if you guys wanted to dca in again not financial advice but i definitely will be dcaing in more at these prices i said if i saw the five again i'm going to make the most out of it the fives here I'm making the most out of it, guys. And then look, over a year ago, when I started talking about how VRA wouldn't totally rely on the overall crypto market and basically run its own race, this is the one-year chart compared to the one-year Bitcoin chart. So you can see here, you've got Veracity doing its own thing, completely different to what you see on the Bitcoin chart. Now, yeah, the Bitcoin chart, I mean, I prefer to be trading <laughs> this Bitcoin chart. It looks a lot more healthy. But like we've said on the channel before, we're waiting for the shift in Bitcoin dominance. We've got a way to come over and we're going to check the Bitcoin dominance in just a second. So make sure you do stay till the end. But guys, we could be getting a move like this or a pretty big move for our altcoins very soon because you can see as Bitcoin has had this upper trajectory, we've actually started to lose dominance for vra a lot of people can do ta okay i do my own ta i do my own ta in my patreon but at the same time guys you have to try and really rub out some of the noise as well because you're going to go onto twitter and you're going to see all of these ta gurus and they're going to say this is the new price to get this is the new price to get this is look at look at my chart look at your chart look at my chart this is going to follow that chart and while some of them may be right guys they're not all going to be right are they so if you're taking it's like too many chefs in the kitchen right if you're taking too many opinions that can have a negative effect on you and to be honest now is the time where i'm not really trying to trade vra i'm just trying to accumulate as much as possible so with that being said let's take a look at the trade review so like i discussed before guys and if you missed the video make sure you are subscribed because you don't want to miss leading up to the bull run but we said six months after the halving which is going to be around on this upper touch of the trend line we usually have a decrease in bitcoin dominance which leads to an altcoin rally and we are leading up to this halving and i do foresee in these next sort of six months to a year it being super choppy and difficult and a lot of projects are going to get shaken out. And when I say projects, I mean a lot of you guys on certain projects are going to get shaken out. If there's a lot of noise and, you know, there's not 100% positive news articles coming out for VRA, for example, then you can imagine all this time leading up to the halving. If we maintain Bitcoin dominance up around this level, then yeah. I think that it's going to be quite difficult for a lot of the altcoins. And all of us have got our eyes on this Bitcoin halving and the six months after it. So when everybody's looking at the same chart, guys, it can be quite hard for it to pan out the way that you're expecting it to. Something like this. And they're going to say, if we lose this, then that means it's altcoin season, right? So if that were to be true, guys, that would mean we're, we're pretty much going to be in altcoin season now, right? You know, we, we need to break our way down. And is that going to happen? Who knows? We could just continue straight back up. This could be a bear trap. I've seen it many, many times, guys. But we will be keeping a closer eye on this. I mean, on the weekly, we need a few more candles to print before we can actually start to draw a bigger picture. But technically, okay, technically, we could be on a breakdown for an alt season very soon. And then as we go back into VRA, you guys have seen this many times. Look, we had our first long-term entry right here at 4.4. And then we had our second midterm entry at, what was it, 5.5. Five. So we're below our second midterm entry, guys. So what does that mean? It means young Lemmy Lex is going to be accumulating that as much as he can. And guys, I mean, even if we do break back up into this purple box here, I'll still be accumulating. But look, it's just a quick one on VRA to say, keep your eyes at the prize. Try and blur out the noise and... Have your own game plan as well. It's great to watch my channel. It's great to watch other channels. It's great to get some opinions from people on Twitter. But at the end of the day, they're just people and none of us know exactly how the market cycle is going to play out for this next bull run. Let me know what you guys think of VRA in the comments. If you like the content, make sure you are subscribed. And again, let me know what coin you want me to cover in the next one. Peace.